How's it going everyone? Pop-Tart here. Welcome back to the Airteam channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to build the Mercury Redstone launch vehicle in 1 to 1 scale. So the Mercury Redstone launch vehicle was a rocket from the early stages of the NASA space program. It was developed from the Redstone ballistic missile and was a part of NASA's Project Mercury. On May 5th, 1961, Mercury Redstone 3 launched Alan Shepard as the first American in space, setting a major milestone for the NASA space program. As I mentioned as well, this is in 1 to 1 scale, so this is perfectly to scale with our Apollo Saturn V if you have built that as well. This thing is an absolute baby next to it, it's hilarious, and also pretty fascinating to see the development of uh, rocket technology through time. So if you have built the Apollo Saturn V, then this is the perfect addition to any space history build, and should make a pretty cool collection. And if you haven't built it and you'd like to, then you can find a link to it in the description below. Anyways, that's about it, so let's get building. Here's where I'd normally give my little spiel about the Aero Team pack before we move on to building, but this build makes more use of vanilla banners than it does the Aero Team pack. Nevertheless, you can find a link to our custom Aero Team texture pack in the description below. It includes things such as 3D models and slab and stair colors, which we use on our aircraft and spacecraft. And with that, let's get building! If you did build our Saturn V, then this style of building might be familiar to you. We're going to be separating this into stages, so we'll first be building the rocket here, then the capsule, and then the launch escape tower, each separately. So to get started with the rocket itself here, first grab yourself a hopper and place this anywhere. This will be for our singular Rocketdyne A1 engine here at the very base of the build. And place a purple stair out to each side facing outwards just like this. In the Aero Team Tester Pack, the purple stair is a wool model like this, just to use quartz in default. These stairs are for the stabilizer fins at the very base of the rocket. Moving on now, on top of this hopper here, place a black wool on top. And then 17 white wool going up from this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. Just like so. That comes the complicated part here. We'll be making the banners to finish off the detailing for this rocket. Since it is in such a small scale and there are such fine details on the rocket, these banners help to finish off the detailing. So to get going on our banners here, grab yourself a loom in 1.14, which we're on, or a crafting table if you're in 1.13 or below. I'll just leave that there. Since we are building in 1.14 here, I'll be doing all of the banners on the loom, but I'll still do my best to try to remember the recipes for the crafting table here. The first banner we'll be crafting is a half black, half white texture for the roll markings at the base of the rocket here. So for this, go to your loom, place a white banner up on the top there, black dye in your color slot, and select this half white, half black texture, wherever this is, uh, here, this one, and store this away in your inventory. We'll be crafting two of those if you are building this in survival. To craft this on the crafting table here, 1.13 or below, place a white banner up at the top center there, and a 2x3 of your ink sacks at the base, just like this, and that'll give you that same pattern. Our next banner is this white banner with a uh, red dot in the center here. This is for the United States lettering running down the center of the rocket. Go to your loom here, drop a white banner in the banner slot, red dye in the color, and select the red roundel right here, that pattern, and drop that in your inventory. In survival, you'll be needing 16 of these banners. On the crafting table here, the recipe looks something like this with a banner anywhere and a red dye in the center there, I believe, if memory serves. Our next banner is a white banner with a black stripe down the middle for the uh, stripe running around the center of the rocket right there. Go to your loom, drop your white banner up there, uh, black dye in the color slot, and select this pattern, and drop that in your inventory. We'll be needing four of those. On the crafting table here, the recipe looks something like this with three ink sacks running down the center. And our last banner here is a white banner with these black stripes running down the length of it. This is for the roll markings at the top of the rocket. On the loom here, just do the same as always. Drop your white banner in the banner slot, black dye there in the color slot, and select the black paley right there. And that'll be your banner. You'll be needing 12 of those. On the crafting table here, this recipe looks something like this with your white banner there, and then two ink sets running up the top right, and two on the top left and that'll give you the same black paley. That is everything for your banner crafting though, so we can get rid of those now, and I'll clear out the dies from my inventory. Bring all of those out now, as well as the black and white banners, and we can get going. So to finish off the rocket here, first decide which side you want to be facing forwards, that is the side with the lettering on the front. On this side you'll be placing a black banner on the front and back of this black wool block at the very base here, and out to the sides place a white banner to cover up that black wool there. 
Moving on up on top of this black banner here, place your black half banner on the front and back lining up right there with your white banner off to the side just like this. This will finish off the roll markings at the base here which are divided up into uh, half black half white segments around the base. These markings help the crew on the ground to determine if the rocket is rolling properly on launch. Moving on up again, grab your white banners and place one and two up on all four sides right here from this, just like so. And then your red roundel flag right here, and one, two, three, four, and five of these running up the front. Again, this is for the, the uh, United States lettering going down the rocket, so this will be for the states <laughs> um, at the base right here. And then five of these up the back as well, one, two, three, four, and five. And fill in the sides here with your white banners, just like this. One, two, three, four, and five. Grab your white banner with the black stripe and run this around all four sides right here to finish off the black stripe running around the center. Then your red roundel once more, and one, two, three, four, and five running up the front and back, just like this. Oh, what did I do there? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, just like that. And your white banners once more, just like this. That'll finish off the lettering. Now grab your white banner with the black paley stripes, and one, two, and three of these running up all four sides right here. And this will finish off the roll markings at the top. Beautiful. That will do it for all of the markings on the rocket, and you are done with this stage. So we've got the complicated part behind us now. All that's left to finish this off is the capsule here and the launch escape tower. To stay consistent to our tutorial style, I'll be building these individually, even though there's not a whole lot to them. This will show you how to separate everything if you'd like to have a stage diorama instead of a, a uh, complete rocket or whatever. To build the incredibly tiny capsule, start off with a black wool here. If you're building this separately staged as I am, just place that anywhere away from it. If you're building this together as a complete rocket, start right there on top of the previous stage. So we've got our black wool here, and all that's left now is a mossy cobblestone wall on top. There is not a whole lot to it. The capsule is incredibly tiny. In the Aero Team pack here, the mossy cobblestone wall is a black uh, wall texture like this for color consistency. In default, a cobblestone wall will look a little bit weird in terms of uh, color consistency, but the cobblestone wall will keep the shape of the rocket nicely tapered like this. So uh, I'd recommend using that instead in default. That's it for our little capsule though, and this is what it should look like on the completed rocket if you are building it that way. So with that, we can move on to the third and final part of this tutorial, which is the launch escape tower. For the launch escape tower, start off with an acacia fence, and again, uh, if you are building this stage, just place that separately, and on the rocket, start right on top of that mossy cobblestone wall previously. And once we have this acacia fence here, just make this four tall, so we've got one, two, three, and four, just like that. In reality, the launch escape system is this red uh, tower that attaches to the top of the uh, capsule here. There are four motors in the top of the tower right around here that would fire in the event of an emergency, such as a uh, failure of the rocket and propel the capsule to safety. That's everything for the launch escape system though, and this is what it should look like on your completed rocket. So that is everything for the Mercury Redstone launch vehicle. Thank you so much for choosing a narrow team design, <laughs> though this rocket may be pretty small. Hundreds of hours of work from all of us here at the Aero Team go into all of our aircraft and spacecraft to make these designs possible and to continue providing you with these tutorials. And on that note, we do ask that if you use our designs, then please do give us credit for our hard work. This can be accomplished as easily as a sign anywhere around the finished rocket saying designed by the Aero Team. And if you share this anywhere on social media, then just give us credit equally. That's all that we ask. And if you have built this rocket, let us know. We'd love to see how you're using our designs. So, with that all out of the way, that concludes this tutorial. Again, thank you so much for building this rocket. I hope that you learned something today, and I hope that you enjoy having this in your Minecraft world. If you did enjoy, you can check out our other tutorials via the playlist in the description below. If you like this, you might find something else from us that you like too. And if you do find that to be the case, then please do consider subscribing to the Aero Team channel to be the first to see our new aircraft and spacecraft when they come out. That's just about it though, so thank you all for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.